Hey everybody, I got John here with the FT3D. So tell me a little bit about it. So uh, the FT3D, we released um, notification on, on Wednesday. It is our new handheld premiering here at Hamvention. Um, obviously, one of the first things that people see is it is in a full color touchscreen TFT display. Um, the nice part about being a TFT display is especially how the main band is in white, you easily can go ahead and go out into the sunlight. When you're out in the sunlight there, it's gonna, it's not gonna fade the screen, it's not gonna wash the screen out in any way, shape, or form. You know, we continue with the success that people liked on the FT70, where if you see it has this kind of curved or kicked out PT. Just like the FT70. Like the FT70. Yep. A lot of people who were wearing gloves, they said, you know, I yep. like it that without looking at it, I can go ahead and do that. We added more features. So if anything, people are like, well, what's the easiest way to describe it? Well, we took the best features of the 2 and the best features of the 70 and put them together in this one here. One of the things, the biggest things we added was Bluetooth. And with the Bluetooth, we're coming out with our Bluetooth headset. Oh, you are making, is this, this it? This is it. This is it. This is the only one out of Japan right now. Yeah, run away, security. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yes, and actually it does show it on our uh, brochure there, on there. But um, it does have the Bluetooth compatibility with the headset. Awesome. On there, uh, it can it work on any Bluetooth headsets, or does it have to have a mic? You know, um, we we tested it only with this one. We're not sure what other Bluetooth headsets. Sure. We already got to ask that. You know, we'll work with others. We don't sure. know. But I guarantee you guys, the customers, your guys are going to test it and report back to us, and we'll appreciate it. Yep. Um, the other kind of some of the nice functions are all the compatibility accessories are based off of the FT2. So same batteries, and this includes your alkaline battery pack. Yep. We, you know, people said I want an alkaline pack. And here it is. It's I use it. And then yep. in addition, all the same ports on here. You're gonna have the same data port. So if you got the camera, speaker, mic, it plugs right in there. Okay. And if you notice, we actually changed it a little bit. We did the oh, SD yeah. card and the data on the top. Yeah. And then we made, it was all one piece. Correct. Now we actually set it there where now it's the the DC plug-in and then your accessory plug-in. Was the that just for durability or? A lot of people are saying I don't want to have to open up everything like that there. So I said why not? Let's just go ahead and split the two. Okay. Make it easier. Yeah. Um, the other neat kind of function that we added on here is, is there is a club monitoring function. Yes. So we, we have 10 groups in the radio with five channels per group. Okay. The concept is this. Oh. What you do is you program in, let's say you program in your main repeater, your club repeater, and a couple simplexes. Let's say you're doing an event. Okay. And you're sitting there and you know, you're wondering why there's no traffic going on or something on the repeater or something. You'll be able to see it with the scope on there. Yeah. And then go ahead and instantly go to it and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay, here's our simplex, boom, because you'll see the, the traffic. Yeah. How long does that ghosted signal last for? It, it pretty much, it monitors the signal that's on there. And repeater. it just keeps when it at the highest really point? It's like a high water mark? Well, it's, it's active. So it's a true active one on there. So right. When, when you're seeing there, the minute the traffic goes away, it will go away. Oh, okay. So you're really just monitoring like four, five, five you said? Five? Like, yeah. Five, five frequencies on at any one time. Four, okay, I got gotcha. you. It's a quick reference because you right, to do it on there. right. Um, you know, another thing that um, kind of it's a lot of people like with the SD card in here, you can now record, receive, yes. and your own transmissions that you're making on there. Yes, which that's once awesome. Again, you're doing that control, doing something like that on there. That's really easy thing. to pull call signs off of it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, exactly. So that's it. And then of course, you know, a lot of people like the dual knob. We yep. have once again separate transmit or excuse me, channel selection and volume selection knobs on it. Oh, okay. Yep. Very good. Well, thank you, John. Appreciate it. Looks like a winner.